Yeah, we have horses, sheep and cattle and it's an, it's an ordinary farm uh, yard and they don't seem to make any difference. We have machinery starting up in the, in the shed, uh, working in the shed and it makes no difference. The, the, a, a few times I, I've thought maybe this will be something that uh, the, the leave on, uh, because of it, but no, it's made no difference at all. We put it up for over a year ago and uh, I had seen the, the owls at, uh, during the winter and uh, I put up the nest box and they just uh, popped into it themselves and I'm delighted that, that uh, they've nested there. We now have three lovely little chicks. Uh, in fact it would take a while before you realise that there's one in your shed because um, they're, they're very quiet, you don't see them during the day and unless you're very lucky and you are lucky to see them when you see them at night because as I said before they're, they're a magnificent uh, 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 image to, 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 to find. You see them at night, you see them flying around and uh, one of the most spectacular things you can see is walk around the corner some evening, late, especially dark, just coming dark and you, uh, sometimes you can actually see them just perched on a, on a, a fence uh, which is as I said it's a spectacular sight to see. The, How old is this boy? This guy's about you know, 45 to 50 days old and you can see the just a bit of the remnants of the down, yeah. the fluffy down left. Mm. Obviously, do you know when I was younger, it was just completely covered in down and now yes. the proper feathers have come through. So, And so this guy's going to be flying around short distances fairly soon now, um, in no time at all. So that's why you're hearing all the, all the noise is, is, is these guys now in the, in the yes. nest box, you know, demanding food from the adults. And that's just the ring now we put on the, put on the leg. And if we do come across these guys again, we know yeah, where they are. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You can see yeah. straight away, this is a male. You can see it's very, the feathers are very pale there. And yeah. if we have a female, if one of the other chicks is a female, we'll be able to see the difference. And also you can see very white on the undersides and the under wing and yes. the, under, the under body. And no, there's a uh, female sometimes have small black flecks that, uh, okay. that you can't see any on this bird on now. The so of on the, the inside, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great, like, because you know, this is like a fairly modern farmyard, like, yeah. you know, and like, and there's lots of noise, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't think that uh, that uh, they would stay once if you know there was lots of activity mm. here with machinery put, putting in a uh, concrete yard, yeah, and made no difference. Like, now that they've used the nest box for the first time, the hope is they'll you know they'll likely use it yeah. year after mm. year, you know. But then these guys now they could once they're once they they gain independence and once they can hunt for themselves. The adults will oust them essentially, and they're they're on their own then, and they could end up they'll what we call disperse. So they'll mm. um, uh, th they'll look for basically a, you know a, a home range of their own, look for you know suit a suitable site of their own. But they could they could end up anywhere. They could stay you know fairly local. They could stay mm. in Offaly, or they could end up you know in, in any other county in the country. Oh, yes. You know. So now this is the the youngest of the three, as you can see. There's a lot more down. And yeah, a lot more down. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit smaller this bird light enough now as well oh, but generally what happens is the the older ones get the get more of the food when it comes in you know yeah is there anything we could feed or leave out for them at this stage if they were underweight yeah there's not really because they're 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 not burnouts wouldn't be scavengers but like do you know you're doing everything right in terms of it's it's more so leaving space for them to hunt leaving space for nature you know that's uh that's what really benefits them like you know and mm. uh and reducing or stopping using rat poisons like that's obviously you know helps them as well so you're not risking the birds being contaminated by rat poisons but yeah it's more measures on the farm itself that would really help them and help future generations you know so these are the pellets so we can tell exactly what these birds have been feeding on like by by looking at the pellets and uh, i'll show you an example of some of the some of the small mammals and rodents that uh, that these guys are are feeding on. I'm not sure if, if you've seen them, if you've heard of them, they're great white teeth chew. They'd be very vocal. You'd hear them squeaking away in the in the hedgerows. This is the this is this is the skull of one at least. So yeah. everything they can't digest. So you have the, like the yeah. the skulls, the you know the the jaws, the uh, the the fur, and then basically they take the nutritious parts and they yeah. form a pellet and c and cough up the pellet, get it out of their system. So, so here you can see now that's a. This is looks like a wood mouse skull, yeah, so you can see the eye sockets. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can take, you know, up to full grown rats. Would you have problems with rats and mice around, around no, the area? No, we, mm. we had before, and we, uh, back maybe 15 years ago, mm. we always put out rat poison. Now we don't. And well, we hadn't for a few, uh, for a number of years. 
And suddenly the barn owls began to appear in the hay shed. And that's what prompted us, prompted us to put up the, 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 the box yeah. for them. We haven't had any problems with rats, certainly in the last two years. That's great. That's what you want to hear, like, you know, because, like, these guys are the best natural rodent control, like, you know. Yeah. Like, if you think, like, you know, up to 20 prey items a night and they're hunting over a fairly small area here, like, sure, that's, that's one of the best ways to yeah. keep, keep rats And this is a typical farmyard where we would keep animal feed and if you, if you didn't put down rat poison, you'd always see yeah, rats. Yeah, yeah. And we haven't seen yeah. rats, certainly we yeah. haven't seen rats for the last uh, two years. That's great to hear, yeah. That's, there's another, another mouse skull. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Open her up and figure, figure out exactly yeah. what, what they've had for dinner. But what their menu is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So plenty, plenty of variety in the menu. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll leave, leave these guys in peace, will we? Yep. Yeah. Well, my hope is that we have three chicks there and th they will need, need nesting sites themselves. And my hope would be that, uh, that other people would uh, take into account that you can have a rat-free, a, 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 a rodent-free farm uh, without putting down rat poison. And hopefully, that if they did, they'd propagate across the country. Again, like they did back in the, back in the day.